The first wave of this winter storm is hitting the Charlotte area right now. You're looking live at pictures from the mountains in Blowing Rock where already several inches have fallen. And in Charlotte, snow has been falling across the city for about two hours now. The low clouds and the flurries are making it tough here to see the uptown skyscrapers from our Charlotte cam. And now to the roads. A lot of people are trying to make it home as normal before the snow starts accumulating. This is a live picture on I-85 north of Harris Boulevard in near University City. And in Gastonia, it's been snowing on and off there since about 3 o'clock. This is some new video just into our newsroom. So far, the snow not sticking on the ground in that area. Eyewitness News reporter Dave Faraday is live right now in Blowing Rock tonight, continuing our team coverage for us. And Dave, I understand it's been coming down there pretty hard for a while. Yeah, for about two and a half hours, it has been steadily falling here in the North Carolina mountains. Behind me, Highway 321, you can see traffic moving pretty good there, but in the headlights of that car, you can see that snowfall. A little bit lighter now, but it was coming down pretty heavy earlier. Take a look at some of this video that I shot up in Blowing Rock. You can see I'm right in the heart of town there. And if you look over on the secondary roads, you can see in a matter of about 15 minutes, the snowfall, because it was coming down so hard, started covering some of the secondary roads here in the mountains. The main roads are in pretty good shape because they've been plowing them. I see a plow go by about every 10, 15 minutes. But on my drive up here into North Carolina mountains, folks, they had warning signs, some DOT warning signs warning about the travel conditions. Now, I was out earlier down in the Granite Falls area out in Lenore, went by a couple of the food stores, and they were very crowded. A lot of folks running in there last minute to grab whatever they could, uh, everything from bread to milk to eggs, you know, everything that you need for a big storm. We got a chance to talk to a couple of the shoppers earlier. Listen to what they had to say. Well, I thought I'd wait till Sunday, but hub, you told me to call today, come in today, and I said, let the Lord do his work. It's busy. It's real busy. People only come out in the snow and that's it. <laughs> bread, milk, eggs, it's getting gone. Yeah, I think I may need, I think I may need to make a stop on the way home tonight uh, if we continue to get the snowfall that we've been getting so far this afternoon. Again, traffic moving pretty good here along Highway 321. Although I am seeing already some icy patches here, and the secondary roads are are a mess right now, folks. Reporting live from Blowing Rock, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hey, thanks, Dave. We continue to track this uh, first batch of snow as it pushes into the metro area. Let's take a look at live early warning Doppler 9, really from Charlotte North. Precipitation's reaching the ground. As far as what's falling from the sky, we take into account the temperature, and there's your winter weather radar. White is uh, snow, of course. Green is rain, and there is a little bit of pink or mix showing up, and that's a mix of both rain and snow. No reports of sleet or freezing rain right now. There's a look at temperatures. It's cooled to 34 in Charlotte. We were in the uh, lower to mid-40s this afternoon, so it's already cooled more than 10 degrees since about lunchtime or so. Temperatures a little warmer south of town. And as I said, this is the leading edge. This is just to give you an idea is how sprawling this storm is. Still snowing all the way back right now into uh, Oklahoma and uh, Missouri. And all that's going to be sliding toward the Carolinas. And there's also a bit of a break after this initial batch. The stuff that's through G uh, Georgia and the upstate of South Carolina will swing in. So we'll have a few hour break before the main event arrives likely by late tonight. I'll be back in just a few minutes to let you know what to expect in your neighborhood. All right, thank you, Steve. Now I want to show you a live picture from Gastonia that we're showing you using Skype, live pictures over the internet. Eyewitness News reporter Ken Lemon set up the shot of it snowing there on Main Avenue. Again, this is near downtown Gastonia. Emergency workers gathered just a few hours ago to talk over their plans, and we asked them several questions, including their best advice about what to do during this winter storm. It's 25 degrees colder than we were yesterday at this time. And for all week long, we've basically been uh, forecasting this wintry mix, which is almost a dreaded word here in the Carolinas because it means the entire kitchen sink being thrown at us. For more on what's been going on tonight, let's head outside to John Aarons. John. Well, Steve, right now what's being thrown at us is a good burst of snowfall, but it's still going to be a while before this accumulates. Got an infrared thermometer here, and we're kind of watching the energy coming off of the road. Still at 35 degrees. Still incredible considering that yesterday it was 64, but we are cooling off rapidly. But as I watch this precipitation, I'm feeling more at ease that this is going to be a snow event and not so much an ice event for Charlotte. In the coming hours, sure, we could see some ice pellets or sleet mixed in with this snowfall, but it will not smack the ground and accumulate as a sheet of ice like freezing rain will. And freezing rain is much more dangerous. That being said, that could be a threat.
to our south. Now, the snow that's happening right now is just the beginning. To take it through the night, here's Steve. All right, John, we're going to keep an eye on this. Here's a look at our future cast, and you can see these shades of pink in here gradually changing to white, and that is that wintry mix that we're forecasting for overnight tonight. And first thing tomorrow morning, by the north yard, better chance of all snow. Farther south, across the Midlands of South Carolina, will be the best chance of freezing rain. There's your timeline. Things finally wind down by the middle part of tomorrow afternoon, and things will begin to improve. Here's a look at Futurecast and our snow totals. Now, for Charlotte, uh, there's going to be a wide variation in a very short distance. And boy, doesn't that always seem to be the case. Let's start in the mountains. All the time, the guide up here, we're talking 10 to 15 or more inches up by the uh, Virginia line and out by the Tennessee line up in ski country. That's great news. Uh, generally, 6 to 10 inches from I-40 up to the base of the mountains. But as you get closer to the Charlotte metro area, we're talking on the order of 3 to as much as 6 inches of snow. Lesser amounts the southern part of the county, down towards, say, Matthews, Pineville, down toward Ballantyne. By the time you hit Huntersville, we could easily see 5 or 6 inches of snow. And that's only a distance of about 20, 25 miles as the crow flies. Your Pinpoint Regional forecast uh, for the mountains calls for the snow to pile up tonight and continue basically all all day tomorrow. It'll wind down some tomorrow afternoon, but scattered snow showers at the highest elevations will continue right through tomorrow night. Temperatures in the 20s will actually fall back even more as we head through late afternoon. Along and north of I-40, while it's been mainly snow so far, there will be some mixing of sleet, and that's why accumulations won't be quite as high as they will up in the mountains. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon stuck in the 20s. In the metro area, there will be some mixing. There will be some freezing rain, mainly from Rock Hill to Monroe over to Waysboro. For Charlotte points north, it will be mainly snow and sleet. Temperatures will be in stuck in the mid-20s, and that means there'll be no melting. And then south across the Midlands, below freezing as well. And quite frankly, this is the area I'm probably most concerned about because of that freezing rain that John talked about. You start building up freezing rain, it can bring down trees, which can bring down power lines and possibly cause power outages. This is something we'll keep a very close eye on. And again, there's sort of a look as what will be falling in your neighborhood. Our five-day forecast, sunshine, thankfully, returns on Sunday, but the warmth...